Hello and welcome back to Microsoft Power Automate Tutorials. Today we will learn how to process a receipt with an AI Builder. Where exactly we are going to use this receipt processing? If you see in our real time scenario, if you are going to visit an hotel or an hospital or any mall, so what it will do, we will do, we will make a transaction for the purchase of the items, right? So in that cases, we will get a receipt and this receipt having in a such a format. If you see on my screen, I'm having a receipt of the hotel with the name of Berkey Hotel. And if you see the receipt number, the transaction date, and the number of items and the total amount of items that we have purchased, right? This is the receipt. In a such a way, if I want to track all the receipts, so how can it is possible? It's a manually, it will take a lot of time, right? Now, the Power Automate having an AI builder with receipt processing model. It will make you easier to track all these details like the merchant name, the transaction date and the total amount, such a kind of details, we can track and we can extract the data from the receipts. How can we go ahead and do that? Log on to Power Automate. Over here, you can see AI Builder. Under AI Builder, you are having a build. If you see over here, inside that, I'm having a pre-build model with the name of receipt processing, which is currently in previous state so that what it will do it will read and save the information from all the receipts so i'm going to use this model to track the information or to read the information from the receipts all right let's click on that if you see over here i'm having tryouts over here in the sense you can see some of the receipts over here and you can see the extracted information i'm having a merchant name merchant address, merchant phone number, transaction date, subtotal and whatnot. And you can see the total amount also from the particular receipt. By using this model, we can extract the information from the receipt. All right, to make it, I'm going to upload one more receipt from the, by clicking on upload new. And then I'm going to select some of the email, some of the receipt over here. If you see over here, it is trying to analyze the receipt which we have provided and then it will extract the information over here. If you see on my right hand side, I'm having merchant name, merchant address and the purchased items in that, right? By using these details, we can save the data from the receipts and then we can proceed further to process our flow. All right. Now, if you see over here, the best practices that we have use common sales tape receipts and don't use the full page invoices. All right, in such a way, scan one receipt at a time. Don't use complex images. And also use flattened receipts. Don't use crumpled receipts, such a kind of thing. It's a like folded receipts, such a kind of thing. Don't use them. All right, now, this is the pre-built model that we have, that is receipt processing model. We, we can use it in a flow or we can use it in an app. So I'm not going to use any one of that. I'm going to create my own flow right now. All right, let's click on client cell. Before that, I will show you an Excel over here. In my Excel, what I'm going to do, I'm having a book name with the name of tracks receipt. Inside that, I'm having transaction date, merchant name, and total. I need to grab all this data from the receipts and we have to store over here. This is my agenda over here in this session. All right, now what I'm going to do, I'm going to create a flow by clicking on create, and then I'm going to select instant cloud flow. And then I'm going to give it the name as receipt process flow. And then I'm going to choose manually trigger, and then I'm going to click on create. And now if you see for the manually trigger, I need to give some input. Over here, I'm going to give an image over here as an input so that I'm going to select plus icon over here and then I'm going to select file over here. So I'm going to say receipt over here. So once I'm going to give an receipt, what is the model that we are going to use it? That is receipt processing model, which we need to select as part of the AI builder. I will tell you two ways over here to do that. First, click on the new step. Over here, you can see AI Builder. So under the AI Builder, you are having receipt processing forms. 
just simply process and save information from receipts you can select this or you can go for the ai builder inside that you can use predict and then i'm going to choose a model both of the ways are the same okay but over here what you can do you can directly select the model but whereas i have shown you process and save the information from the receipts that will be a you no know, directly it is going ahead and using it okay now over here i'm going to select the model over here as receipt scanning model select that and there if you see for this model i need to give an input as a file what is the input that input we are going to give it from manually triggered select that over here you can see over here receipt is the input for this model all right now once we have given the input to our model that is receipt scanning model so we'll get an output as transaction date merchant name total purchase items all these things now i have to store this data somewhere right so where i can store as i have shown you i'm going to store the data inside the transaction receipts in my excel right so that i'm going to click on new step and i'm going to select excel online business so for each and every transaction i'm going to add a row into the table so i'm going to select that now i'm going to give location and document library as one drive because the excel has been loaded over there on one drive okay now the file i'm going to select the same name tracks receipt you can see over here tracks receipts dot excel sx file and i need to select the table over here i'm having the table with the name of data and once you have selected the table it will pop up with the three fields over here you can see transaction date what is the transaction date from where we can get it from the predict what are the output is coming that will be all the list of the content has been loaded over here you can see purchase item name purchase item price item quantity total price transaction time and so on now i will select transaction date as transaction date and the merchant name i will select as merchant name over here and the total i will select it as total this is a total amount which we are going to get it from our receipt right so all the items what are the output are coming from the predict that is receipt scanning model all the items will be loaded over here now my flow is ready now what we have to do we have to save it first before going to be testing this flow now click on test to test my model that is working fine or not click on test and i'm going to select manually to perform save and test now if you see the input over here it is asking for a receipt to give as an input for this flow all right click on import and then i'm going to select one of the receipt over here click on open and then click on run flow now my flow is started running now if you see the output over here you can get the output once the process once the receipt has been processed successfully you can see the transaction date and the merchant name and the total amount of the entire items purchased items has been loaded successfully all right now we will test once again this flow by taking another image to extract the data and to store in the track receipt click on text select manually and then click on save and test let's select another file or image to import select on import and then i'm going to select another image over here or another receipt over here click on run and flow now if you see over here i got the transaction date and the merchant name but sometimes based on the image it will be extracting the data so in my image i don't have any total so that it has been just retrieved or read the message like transaction date and the merchant name i hope you understand how to work with receipt processing model as part of ai builder thank you for watching power automate tutorials if you have any queries related to this concept please post them in the comment section i will see you in the next session till then bye bye have a wonderful day